you know, you forget how quiet it is. But uh, this is the first time I'm actually in the shop by myself because my bosses are actually not showing up today. So yeah, it's a little bit eerie, especially with there being no people. The only reason I'm here even at all is because we told a customer that we're we were going to be here today. So I had to be here anyway. <laughs> But, you know, eh, it's a different feeling being here by myself, I guess. But, you know, I'm just organizing and I was playing Wii Sports. But, uh, yeah, probably going to price some games and wait for this customer to show up. Uh, because definitely the shop does need a lot of work. That's uh, why my boss hired me. Because uh, we got all of this stuff back here. That needs to be tested. We got games and stuff that need to be put away. Just the whole shebang at this point. All those accessories. Just a lot of stuff you gotta do. The not so fun part of working at a video game shop is uh, having to put away stuff, to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, this is our testing area. It's a little bit messy. These are games that we have to get resurfaced because we currently don't have our own resurfacer. But uh, yeah, this is behind the whole uh, register and your console case right here. We don't have that many like, you know, really desirable consoles. We have the Call of Duty 360 over there, which is pretty cool. We have a PS3, uh, we have like five PS2s, and that's not even an exaggeration. Here's our most desirable system, a fully backwards compatible PS3. And here is our sealed games. And on top is the more desirable games, normally games that are more than $20. Well, I wasn't actually expecting to make this a, a store tour, but I guess I might as well. <laughs> so, right here is our Game Boy games. We don't have that many desirable titles. Let's see. Over here is our Game Boy Advance games. The most expensive and most desirable game we have is the Castlevania here, which... Honestly, it's, this game has gone down in price quite a bit. I'm not gonna lie. We also have some little collectibles that are for sale. This is all of our random memory cards and accessories, as well as other games. Games we have Game Gear, one Xavier Port game, Xavier Port game, which honestly I didn't hear of an Xavier Port until. We got this in. Apparently, it's like a, I think it's a Germany exclusive console, like a sports console, if I believe so. We also have these Mega Man pet cartridges, which are pretty interesting. I'm not gonna lie. And we have some accessories on the wall, mainly some gaming figures. We have mainly because we don't have anything to put on the wall currently. But we have the, what I think is the more desirable PC games. You know, the ones that people would put on their shelves that, that look nice. We also have some really random accessories that they've gotten in. And that's all the accessories there. And here is the Great Wall of Wires. Which we tend to have a lot of. Also, down there, we, that's all of our Wii's. We got too many Wii's. We actually don't normally accept in white Wii's since we have so many, but if you come in with like a bundle of stuff, we may consider it, but we legit have like maybe 15 white Wii's, it's a lot. But we also don't just take in video games as well. We take in toys, we take in movies and Blu-rays. Although I will tell you, we don't normally pay a terrible lot for Blu-rays and movies, because we only sell Blu-rays for three and movies for a dollar. So, uh, 
But if you wanted to bring in the tote of movies, that's always an option. Here's the Skylanders, which I've been waiting for them to get more Skylanders in, because I'm really big in the Skylanders. I almost have an entire full set besides some of the accessories, which this is one of the accessories I'm, I'm thinking about getting, this golden pig. But I legit only need, I think, 10 Skylanders to complete my collection. But, but yeah. <laughs> we also have some box Skylanders, which we can barely get rid of these. Like, they're cool, don't get me wrong, but I don't have room for them. And I, I rather, I would rather play by the Skylanders to play, because I actually enjoy the games. Here's also our... We don't even know how it happened, just the random Star Wars section. I mean, we were just like, well, we have all the Star Wars stuff, let's just keep it here, I guess. <laughs> we also have um, this, uh, we have the Supercharger set here for 360, some Dragon Fingers, some Box Disney Infinity. Here's also our Disney Infinity area, we have a lot of stuff. A lot of Disney Infinities. I mean, in, we have a lot of doubles. Because normally when we get Disney Infinities, we get a lot of doubles. We have, yeah, the Disney Infinity book there and a bag. Don't know what we're going to do with the bag, but, you know. Oh, yeah, here's a random Al Capone bottlehead. Somebody came in with, like, five of them. It was like, here, do you want these? And we were like, yeah, I, I, sure, I guess. You also have some Power Ranger ones, although they do need to be dusted because they're dusty as all hell, I'm not going to lie. You also have some cheat codes and some wizard. I think we're selling these as a set. I think they're, yeah, they're a bunch of wizard comics. But yeah, we do have a lot of rent and stuff. Our PS4 games are over here. We tend to just show the more desirable ones and like keep the rest on the shelf. We also sell more, sell more movies. 360 games are right here. Here, which we tend to have a lot of. And we tend to sell quite a bit. Right here is random box stuff. Including the wireless sports thing, which is a Wii ripoff, which I find really funny. But, yeah. We do generally, with all this stuff... We have a lot of, if you're looking for strategy guides, we have the strategy guides. Some of them are a little bent though, because of this container. But you know, if you're looking for strategy guides, please come on down. We'll give you some, a good deal on them. <laughs> Here's some more random stuff. Good stuff. We got this in. You would really think that this would be worth something, but it's only worth like five bucks. And, and we had to look that up on, I believe we had to look that up on eBay, because we couldn't actually find it on price charting. But, I always enjoy when we get the really weird stuff in. Also, right here is the PS3 section, which I'm particularly fond of. We have some PS2 over here, which, I say we have more PS2 games than we have any other system. Because we definitely have a lot. We also have... This is all miscellaneous, like, cartridge stuff. Like the Atari and Genesis, because we don't technically have a big spot for it. We also have a decent number of original PlayStation games. The shop is a little bit in a mess right now, because we're currently reorganizing the shop. This is our Wii section. We have all of these these and these and we only have two Wii's hooked up at one time we have a black one and a white one we actually only have one black one currently and we have a ton of these <laughs> we normally don't accept them by themselves but again if you bring in more if you bring in a lot of like games with it would maybe be interested <laughs> this is our very very limited GameCube selection Along with other games that are just crammed in here, this is a lot of our foreign games, like Japanese, PAL. Basically, if it's not made in the U.S., it's put over here. 
Also, if anybody wants any guns for any systems, we have plenty. <laughs> Including the Super Scope, ironically, without the scope. So it's just the Super. <laughs> so here is our Dreamcast. Yes, which we don't have as many desirable games. Just like we don't we have barely any Wii games. There's also wires everywhere. We also have some N64 cards, although weirdly, uh, one of our regulars brought us in a bunch of sports N64. What we really don't have a lot of is the Super Nintendo, because these are legit the only ones we have. But we do have a small amount of, uh, it, of NES, although pretty much those get cleared out pretty instantly. Here's also our two Sega CD games, Virtual Cop and NFL San Francisco vs. Dallas. And here is our loose DS and 3DS games, which, you know, not as many desirable ones. We had Pokemon Diamond, but I bought that from my own personal collection. So over here is some more random sealed games in no particular order, they're just sealed. And right here, normally there'd be a game on this Xbox One, which you do have for sale, but I decided not to turn on the TV. We also have this little Genesis plug and play, which is pretty cool, although it only has these games, but they're really good games. Another big seller of ours is Hot Wheels. We sell a lot of Hot Wheels, specifically more so themed Hot Wheels, but wheels, but we, we do also buy Hot Wheels. This is our Xbox One section, and which a pretty big selection. We do not have a lot of Switch games though, these are the only ones we have. And we literally just got one in last week and we sold the two other ones we got. Also here is our box DS and 3DS. And here is our random Guitar Heroes. Those and snowboards. Honestly, since we don't have much space for it, I'm not gonna lie. So right here is the OG Xbox games, which we have quite a few. And right here is our random box games and gaming related toys, which I set this up myself. I think it looks pretty nice. See, anything else I can show you? I guess I can show you the outside of the store. So right here, we, just, we have a bunch of random toys. Honestly, it just, it's just eye candy for the kiddos. We also have some shirts. And right here, this is the, the rest of the PC games that we don't think should go up on the wall because they're normally like really cheap. Over here is more movies and toys, which I have to dust. But yeah, we try and be like a multimedia store. Or so, that's why we have so much movies, CDs, basically a lot of other stuff. But I do hope you guys enjoyed. And this has been the, I guess the, the unexpected game store showcase i guess i don't know what to call this i wasn't gonna do a uh, a store review but here we are so yeah i guess this happened <laughs> uh, also box 360 connects which is really funny to me <laughs> Alrighty, guys i hope you enjoyed this has been cicero and if you liked the video Instead of giving us a like, and if you want to check out the store, we are located in the Airport Flea Market in Brooksville, Florida. Have a wonderful day, folks.